addressing the United Nations 71st General Assembly in New York recently, Liberia President Ellen Johnson said to world leaders that her country had begun the process of domesticating the SDGs. Liberia has embarked on the process of domesticating the SDGs through robust nationwide consultations and dialogue with major shareholders, in stakeholders including the legislature, executive, the judiciary, the private sector, civil society, and faith-based organizations. With support of United Nations partners, we are formulating a roadmap to achieve full integration in our national development agenda. There are 17 goals in the global development agenda that seeks to make the world a better place by the year 2030. In the ELWA community in Pinzo, it is like hellfire for the population to get access to water first before talking about its safety for usage or consumption. A community with inhabitants of rat breakers has strange sources of water to cater to their households. Because the relationship help us a lot. Like you see this hole. This is where we get water from. During rainy season, we chlorinate this hole, take bath, and wash with this whole water. So, and even other holes around the environment. I get it. I make my. Uh, we make sure we we, we, we chlorinate. Or uh, sometimes we boil it. But if we don't get it. We don't really use it for food. We don't use it, use it for bath. For bath, and we put some basic fill in it to into fabric. To not find rash. You know, get it on getting on your on your body. I don't even know. Maybe the rainfall. Okay. We can just get water here. You can just get water here. Yeah. You just use it, you know where yeah, it coming from. We just use it, but we don't know where it coming from. For some inhabitants, the rainy season is the best part of their lives in the community. A lot of time we pray for rainy season because drastic, we don't even get water. We go to the reservoir, all the way police academy. This is the place we go to get water. Water business is hard. So morning said the kids going to school dry season, they got to take bath with mineral water because no water in our environment. The dry season, as I previously said, uh, that the river, uh, 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 big water that here, we can manage sometimes because you have to take it and put it in the same bed sometimes to filter the water. So it's very hard, it's very hard. The water in these pits have exposed some erosions that flow from different areas in the community. A lot of this flow to the rock holes, I also dice in or agar that change the look of the water. With all of the contamination, it stops none of the community members from making use of this water for different purposes. I'm going to use it to wash and take bath. Take bath. I think it's safe. But so what would you do? Just got to use it. No, no. not take a piece of the water. We call with it. We take bath with it. We do everything. Only drinking water. Sometimes we have to go here. The we can to bath. But do you put do you put anything in it? No, no chlorine, nothing. So Why other depends on the rock hole for water? They were few capable of making their own sources even more convenient. The dangerous source of water in this community is also leaving inhabitants with different complications. They say it's it's very worrisome. It's worrisome because. Through that, you know, you find people getting diarrhea, people getting sick. It's just by the mercy of God, especially where we are. We find the water coming from other area, you know, goes to the hole, and we got to go to, the, to get it. You know, that's why we didn't use it for cooking. We just use it for bath and, uh, you know, for the bathroom. But it's, 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 it's worrisome, especially, you know, when I see people going there getting it. I say, Lord, help these people. They shouldn't get sick. It's we just in the water, we get skin disease. We got skin diseases and we got people having, because some people go to the stand and cook it with the water. We got other people running stomach and other things, dysentery, cholera, coming down with it all the time during rainy season. I noticed a lot of people going to the hospital complaining of sicknesses and even the mosquitoes get a lot of malaria because of the water all over. It gave mosquito, the mosquito gave us a lot of sicknesses during the rainy season. Expert says, Using water from unprotected sources have so many health implications, something that is probably affecting the population in the ELWA Rock Hill community. 
it is scary and they, they are at a very serious risk of uh, yeah, waterborne diseases like uh, typhoid, cholera, uh, hepatitis and other diseases also. In this community, there is only one hand pump that caters to the thousands of people in getting safe drinking water while the pits provide the alternative for all the water purposes. So we are suffering for water in this community. Mm -hmm. So they should help us to help us to find means to put water around us for our safety. I see you, you as I just a... say that they build water because that water people they need for. Okay. So you really need water here? Yeah, we really need water here. For I'm just appealing to our government, to our speaker who was just elected. If they can make way or no way for us to get water, we will appreciate them and we will work with them. We will vote for them in time to come. For the first time, the government of Liberia placed in its national budget one million United States dollars to promote water sanitation and hygiene in the country in furtherance of its commitment to achieve Goal 6 of the Sustainable Development Goals. It may be too far or never that the population in the ELW Rock Hill community will get a shot of Liberia water benefits. The question is, will Liberia ever achieve Goal 6 of the SDG's sub-responsibility of achieving universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all? Well, this is just some of the means that the population here embark on, on their daily basis to get safe and clean water. But I don't think these waters are safe for them. But they go about fetching it on a daily basis. It comes from an unknown source and settled in this pit that has been created as a result of rock crushing. So, it's not unabated that a lot of people living in this community are just living at risk with the lack of clean and safe water for them to attend to their daily needs. The people here may need so much, but water could be one paramount thing they will need for their own survival. Moses Gazo, LNTV News, Pinzo, Liberia.